Right now, I'm here with Diane of Corporate Class Incorporated, who is a corporate etiquette and image consultant. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So, Diane, how important is somebody's appearance when going in for an interview? Well, it's quite important. You know, if you think about it, we say that 95% of of our bodies covered with clothing and accessories. It's bound to say something about you. In body language, we say, we say that one gesture equals one word in a sentence. And it's a cluster of gestures that gives the whole sentence. When in clothing is the same thing. It's the language of clothes. So my jacket is one word. Uh, my necklace is another word. My like a visual she sentence. Exactly, exactly. So it speaks for itself as you walk in. And uh, so I think that's why we need to be reminded just how important our appearance is. Cheers. So what is the number one mistake you see with the people you work with? Well, it's not necessarily just uh, the people I work with, but if I walk, um, you know, in the subway and I look at people around, even, you know, this morning I'm getting in the elevator of our building here and I see these two girls with their flip-flops on um, and jeans and you wonder, are they going to work? Are they? And, and I'll ask people, you know, when you are in an elevator and you see people, different people in the elevator, can you tell somewhat if they're a corporate executive, if they're an assistant? And everybody started to laugh and say, yeah, it's true, we can. And it's judged by the appearance. So if you're going to a networking event, I would say find out what the dress code is. And if the dress code means nothing to you because some people get pretty fancy now with titling their dress code, then I would say don't be uh, shy, call and ask and say, what is that exactly? What are you expecting? You know, it's like when somebody say it's a uh, black tie optional. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, uh, am I supposed to wear a black tie or not? So for the man, it's more, you know, like they wear a suit, they wear a, a black tie. So it, it's best to say business attire or black tie. You, then this way people are not as confused. So find out, first of all, if you go to a networking event, um, who's going to be there and what is the expected dress for that event. You go for an interview, keep your colors neutral because that's it's not right. that, yes, that's right. Because you know what? It's If you walk in with a uh, bright orange shirt, it might not quite do it. And many interviewers have told me over the years that somebody will come in for an interview and immediately they know whether this person is right for the job or not. They have Just by as soon as they walk in. Yeah, the exactly. Yeah. So uh, does appearance discrimination exist? Absolutely. Wow. Okay, something to definitely keep in mind. Yes. So is there a general rule of thumb to go by? Well, I would say that uh, for, w for women in particular, you know, having a jacket is very important because as soon as you, you remove the jacket, you lose a lot of power. And if it's for an interview, you want to be on your best. Uh, you want to have your best foot forward. Mm -hmm. And I think a, a jacket will bring some structure and you look to your look and you'll definitely appear more organized and for the man sometimes it depends what is the job interview for what you know and uh, what sort of work are you looking for but always err on the side of being overdressed and underdressed okay all right that's interesting okay so when it comes to um, promoting yourself right. business etiquette what are some things to keep in mind well, I think you, you need to be careful not to push yourself on others. And, uh, for example, some people think that their business cards is a flyer. And, and I say to them, you know, and also before you present your business card to someone, always ask for theirs first. And qualify the person you, you are talking to as well. And because you need to find out a little bit about them first of all are they a fit for you and the only way you're going to find that out is by listening and some people who have difficulty with small talk uh, i'll say to them well you know if you're talking to somebody and uh they introduce themselves and they say well i'm a consultant for company xyz 
and you're not too sure what to say after that, you may say, hmm, consultant. And then the person will definitely continue the conversation. So parroting is a, is a nice way of keeping the conversation going if you're not sure. Um, presenting yourself well and walking into a room with great presence means that you walk into the room with your head up. And, you know, walk into the room. Don't block the doorway. Try and decide where you're going to go from there. And remember that you were invited, not because you're thirsty or hungry. It's for your good company. So never mind the bar and the food as soon as you walk. Try and find somebody to talk to. Once you've talked to one person, mm -hmm. then perhaps you can reward yourself with a drink or a bite to eat. <laughs> so in terms of presenting yourself or selling yourself, how do you go about that without seeming pushy or arrogant? You know what? <laughs> You have to be sincere, and I think people are not fools. Find out about the person first, and um, and then if you've qualified that, uh, yes, they're, they are a good prospect for you, or, or this is somebody that could mostly help you find a job, or um, just keep the interest and the focus on them, and then perhaps towards the end, ask them if they would have a business card. And then if they say yes, they say, you know what, um, great, thank you, and here is mine, and I'd like to follow up with you in the next week, because as we spoke, I had a few things come up to mind that I, I would love to speak to you about, mm -hmm. And because, you know, sometimes at a networking event, it's not always the, the place to uh, close a deal, and, just, uh, and, and it, it's more relationship building. I think that's what you want to remember. And then, like, do follow up the following week, and you know, or in a few days and say, you know, we met and as we spoke, uh, you mentioned this or that and it, so, you know, and just take it from there. Okay. So if people want to find out more about you or your company or how to uh, maybe get some of your advice, how could they do that? How can they reach you? Uh, they can reach us to, uh, through our website, which is uh, www.corporateclassinc.com. And our phone number is 416-967-1221. All right. Diane, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. You're very welcome. <laughs> My pleasure.